How's it going everybody? Today I'm going to be showing you how to use spawn objects in UpBGE 3.0. So I'll be going through how to layer and set up your scene for spawning objects. Say you want to spawn projectiles or you just want to spawn effects for when an object breaks or when you interact with an object. So we'll start out with our scene, click on our first object and delete our main cube and we will add a plane for the ground. I'm gonna scale this up about 15 times and we'll just give this a kind of darker muted tone. So now we have this plane. What we're going to do is make sure this plane is in this collection scene. Say if you had a player, you would wanna take your player and put it in a different collection and layer that on top of the scene. So for this, we're just gonna leave all of our main stuff since we don't have a player in this main collection, which we'll just call scene. Now that we have our main scene, we're going to add a new collection. So this collection is going to be the object we spawn. So we have our cube scene and with a cube selected, we are going to add a cube. Grab this, move it up. So what we're going to do is give this cube some physics. Oops, not like that. Go to your physics type and make it a rigid body. So now we have this rigid body cube. Now the big thing I want to demonstrate is spawning multiple objects at the same time. So in 3.0, you don't get the old group system. You're going to have to use your scenes and collections to spawn objects. And we are going to add a logic brick editor. We're just going to do a quick little tap and then give this a motion and make sure the motion or the force is, let's say 500. So now if we press play for our game, you'll see that the cube gets tossed up in the air and then comes back down. Perfect. So let's also scale this object and then we'll just go, actually let's do 0.5 of the original cube, shift D and make a couple of duplications. And if we press play now, we just have these cubes, they fly up in the air and they hit the ground. So now that we have these cubes, they're all inside of our cube collection. We're going to then turn the this icon off. So now the objects are not going to interact with the world even if they're transparent. So they're just kind of backlogged. Now we're going to another object, but this time we're going to go down to collision instance and we're going to spawn our cube collection. And you can see it acts the same way as a group system would in the old versions. So we're going to take this, go to object, set origin, set center of volume. So that way our empty is in the center of our cubes. Now if we press play, you'll see that they appear. Go to our main scene again, add a empty plane axis, grab that, move that up. Actually, let's put this on the ground. I have an idea for it. So we'll put this right here. And then what we can do is say when I Let's go always and then let's add a delay. There's a cool little effect I want to try. And we're going to make sure this delay is on invert and we're going to say edit object, add object, and we're going to add our cube. So we add cube and we want it to despawn after 35 ticks. Connect the delay into the same and and then we're going to set this. Let's go five ticks and we're going to do a delay of, let's go delay of 60, let's see how that does. Now, if we press play, obviously nothing will happen. So let's turn this onto transparent. And now we can spawn objects. And what this delay is basically telling the spawner to do is after a 60 tick delay, it will kill the emitter. So now we have this like little explosion thing happening. And we can make this a little bit more dramatic by going to the cube. Now we get this kind of emitting explosion effect. That's how to spawn objects, how to layer your scene collections. Just make sure your main scene is the first scene and then everything else you add goes below that. Anyways, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Leave a comment if you have any questions and I'll see you in the next one.